favorite furniture maker, uh, E.W. Godwin. He did a lot of uh, work in the mid 1800s that it just is mind-blowingly ahead of its time. And when you look at it, it's just really delicate and beautiful. And you would guess it came from the 50s or the 80s, and it didn't. It came from the 18, you know, 60s. It's really, uh, it's amazingly elegant work. Um, well, it's funny, I, I'm not convinced my passion's furniture. I, I think I'd be more passionate about working wood. If you told me I couldn't make anything someone could sit on, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go, oh, and then like that'd be the end of me. Um, I really just, I like working the materials and the tools and working with it. I think that's, for me, it's sort of like a sport I enjoy more than the, the, the end score, the end result. Uh, well, it's common to humans, which is uh, force. The application of force is generally the first go-to when they come up against something they don't understand. They think that it's just about doing it either faster or harder, and that, that tends to be it. The draw knife, it's the tool, yeah. It's, um, besides its ability to carve, its ability to split along the fibers, it just makes it this tool that can do something that, you know, no other tool I've used can, can be as powerful. Do yeah. You have, do you have like the one? Oh yeah. Yeah. But it changes. My, my the one changes. It's always every, if, and if I get one of my old the ones, I'm like, oh, I love this the one. But right now my the one is a, a, a nice little eight inch Kimball I like a lot. Oh, that's a really good question. Oh, it'd be make, it'd be make. Yeah, I, I have to be making. Yeah, I, I like designing, but like so many woodworkers, designing is something I came to because I was desperate to keep making. And you've realized pretty soon that if people don't like what you're making, you won't be allowed to. So you learn a little bit more about design, but it definitely seems to come in after the fact. Like the compulsion for making is first. White oak. Yeah, definitely white oak because you, you, it's just so strong and so beautiful at the same time and so flexible. It, it hits on, and it's, it's, it's a pretty wood too. It, it hits on all, you know, all things you can do. I mean, you look at Jenny Alexander's beautiful chairs, you know, or you look at, you know, what you can do with it strength-wise, you know, the, the amazing bends you can do. I mean, even if you're gonna paint it, it's gonna do fantastic things. So for me, it's got all those, it's got that treeness quality of it. A lot of woods, like, they might be brittle you know, or they might be soft in, in ways that would limit what I could do with them, where with the white oak, except for maybe carving a seat, which I don't think I'd enjoy very much, you know, I'd just have to learn to weave them out of, once again, white oak. So it seems like white oak would probably be my choice. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'd, I'd try and be a little less uh, impatient about it, you know, trying, trying to decide on something, but there's that period where where, where you don't know if what you're doing is gonna work and that's really harrowing and t stressful. Um, but the payoff is good, it just takes a long time is what I, I, I found. But I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd do it again. I don't know if I'd, if I'd had a choice, I would have done something else is kind of how it plays out. You know, I looked at all other options available to me and none of them really compelled me to, to act the same way that making chairs did. <laughs>